Rebels, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, and this is The Secret of Monarchy Island the Special Edition, whatever the hell that difference makes. And this is also the video where it occurs to me that introducing myself and the game is redundant, given I have a 10 second title screen doing both of those things. Whatever. But <laughs> why do I do both of these? I honestly don't know. Anyway, this is The Secret of Monkey Island. It's a point and click game. Very famous one. One of the, the most famous point and click games. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, this is one of the... There was LucasArts and there was Sierra. There's two different uh, sort of competing companies in terms of adventure games. And LucasArts made lots of good games where you couldn't get yourself into a corner and die. And Sierra made lots of other games where you could get yourself locked in a corner and die. Uh, so anyway, this is... I felt like playing something a bit different, so that's what I'm going to do. My channel, I can screw it up however the hell I want. Damn it. Deep in the Caribbean. I don't know why I decided to put a, say it like that. It was stupid. The island of Malay? Malay. Island of Mealy. Malay. I don't know why I just keep reading. I was waiting for something to happen that I could play with. Good music, though. Oh, that is really good music. Okay, can we get to the game bit, please? I know you're all very, very good at your job, but I, I, I want to do stuff. I also don't want to click and skip anything very important, because I don't know whether this goes from credits to cutscene to gameplay, or whether clicking will just get me straight to the gameplay and miss a cutscene at the beginning that I want. Uh, so... Well, while well, this is going on, I may as well um, do my usual bit of um, full disclosure. I have played this game before, but I haven't played it for years and have very little recollection of how it goes on. This isn't like um, uh, Portal, where I, I've played it many times. I think I've played this once. And vaguely remember some aspects of it. There's a good chance I'm going to get to a fair few puzzles and not remember the solution. So, Jesus, how long are these credits? There's a reason why these things usually go at the end of the game, guys, because people who want to play the game are wanting to play the game. Okay, there we go. I'm hoping... Yes, there we are. I probably could have skipped all that, but who knows. My God, you're Hi. ugly. Hello. My name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. My name's Dartlord Kaiser. Yikes. I want to be a YouTuber. Don't sneak up on me like that. I like that guy's voice. Um, I'm over this way. Comedy. Well then, Thriftweed. Comedy. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. Do you now? So, you want to be a pirate, eh? I want to be king of the pirates. Inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. Cool, who You'll be they? find them in the scum bar. Okay. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. So right I know where they are. Who are I'm they? I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. A kind old gentleman. Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar, mate. The scum bar. Right. Thanks. But how are we supposed to know who the pirate leaders are? That's a question. Part one, three trials. Because if I said to you, I want to be king of the ninjas, and you went, ah, you need to go to the ninjas bar and talk to the king of the ninjas. You can tell me where the ninja bar is. You need to tell me who the king of the ninjas is. So, this ugly little bastard over here, that's Guybrush Threepwood. That is the main character. Governor Marley is his love interest. We'll get to her in a bit. Now, I have a vague recollection. Now, I looked through the um, how to play guides before starting it up, because obviously I need to know how to play. Very straightforward. I click to a place, he goes to a place. Look at that. Gameplay. Uh, I've also got a verb menu, so I can tell him to do specific uh, tasks. And I've got an inventory menu, obviously with nothing in it at the moment. And that's about it. But I have a vague recollection of there being a button somewhere that uh, can switch it between the graphics as you see them now and the original graphics. Now H, that was hints, so maybe G is graphics. Nope, that's give. Oh, actually, so there's... I can press all sorts of buttons. What do any of these do? Pete, Pete is shortcut for pick up. Open. 
Inventory is I, obviously. Use, pull, talk to, push, give. Oh, I pressed H by accident. Whatever. You should go to the scum bar. That's the hint system. I, didn't, I don't actually tend to use that much if I can avoid it, but... Okay, okay none of these... Oh, V for verbs. Yeah. None of these are the... Whatever. I'll try and figure that out another time. It doesn't really matter. Let's go! Guy Brush. So, uh, a little thing about his name. Fairly commonly known, but uh, I'll tell you just in case you didn't know, because I'm considerate like that. Guy Brush is actually a bit of a mistake name. Um, he, his character didn't have a name, so when they were doing the uh, character design stuff, I'm going to walk around a bit, um, he was just being called Guy. Just main character, is, is a guy, he's a dude. Um, and one of the... Um, so someone drew him in a, a particular paint-based program, um, and the text files always ended dot .brush. Um, so he was saved as Guy dot brush, and someone misread it as saying his name was Guy Brush, so then made another thing later called Guy Brush dot whatever it was, and that's how he got his first name. No idea where Threepwood came from. Uh, open. Uh, oh, <laughs> I thought that was the door. Uh, that looked like a door to me because those windows were from that window. I didn't see this sodding door. Get, go in. Oh, he is going in. Good. How did you get up there? Like, good for you for, you know, having fun up there, mate. You mean, great day you're setting yourself on fire with all the candles around. Though, actually, the spinning that fast, you've put the candles out. But how did you get up there in the first place? Did someone throw you up? Is there a ladder I don't see? Anyway, these are all pirates. I don't seem to be able to interact with them. Maybe I can talk to them. Ahoy there, stranger. Hello. New in town? My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Comedy. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? Yeah, it's a stupid name, isn't it? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty dumb. Yeah, it is pretty dumb, isn't it? It certainly is. That's okay. Mine is Mancombe Seatgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? You missed the TM, mate. I want to be a pirate. I want to be a pirate. I'm going to do something other than read out the lines before they get read out. You should I? go talk oh, well. to the important-looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. You look like a pretty important-looking pirate to they me, mate. They can tell you where to go and what to do. But you've got the pirate's hat. The governor? Where can I find the governor? Why do you want the governor, governor all of a sudden? Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. Why are we bring her pirates up? pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. Seriously, why have we brought her up all of another? <laughs> I'm welcome everywhere I go. You really aren't, mate. Why not? Because they're pirates. Well, the last time she had a pirate over for dinner, he fell in love with her. Poor bastard. It's made things rather uncomfortable for everybody. So who is that pirate? Who's this pirate? I don't want to know about this guy. It was none other than the fearsome pirate, Nechuk. Ah, the well, bastard. there's a whole big story about what happened next. But I don't believe a word of it. Esteban, over there at the other table, might tell you about it. So you we know the story, but you don't believe it, and as such you Very won't tell me seriously. it. Uh oh, looks like my grog is going flat. So you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. My grok is going flat is the uh, game's way of saying. I'm bored of talking to you. Bugger off. I've given you all the exposition I could possibly need to give you. Okay. I want to talk to this guy. I don't think it's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. Coward. I don't think it's wise to Fine. wake a sleeping pirate. Okay, so that guy must be Esteban. He's the only other character who looks... Well, like he's interactable. Everyone else is sort of flat and 2D. Like, you look at this guy here and this guy here. The shading's slightly different to this fellow and this fellow. So subtle little ways like that tell you this guy's worth talking to. Hello! Oi, no! Pig bastard, come back here! I'm, really, I'm insulting everyone today, I don't know why. So let's... Uh, let's just talk. I'm just going to talk to a lot of people. I'm going to talk to this fellow. 
I don't know how he got up there. I talk to him. I can't talk to him. Fine. Let's let's talk to Wench over here. I think they're busy. They're really not. They're not doing anything. This guy's dead. No, I didn't want to talk. Oh, whatever. Because you're as ugly as this fellow. Looking for the dark lord. Nah, let's, let's do the. I'd Guybrush like to introduce thing. myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah. Yeah. Why should he care about that? Okay, let's find about the about. Let's about find out about guy? the antagonist. Lichuk. He's the, the derpiest face I've ever seen. For dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. Which is her prerogative. So he did. Oh. And then things really got ugly. Wait, so he's already dead, and okay. How did he die? How did he die? Let me know. That sounds interesting. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. TM. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship, leaving no survivors. We thought that that was the end of the fearsome pirate, Lechuk. We were wrong. Okay, I'm going to make the noise that that guy's face is currently making. Can you tell me that that is not the noise currently coming out of his face? Is it? We were wrong. Okay. What is the secret of Monkey Island? What Let's just get to, the, get to the end of the game. Why not? Only the chalk knows. Then he still what? sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That is why we are all in here and not out pirating. Also, this is where all the alcohol is and you pirates. What happened to your eye? That's a rude question. Let's ask it. What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens, but... Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. To be fair, that was an incredibly personal question to ask this fellow. I'm sure he's quite, you know, conscientious about the fact he's got a whopping great scar and... A marble instead of an eye. So, well, then again, he specifically chose an eye, a glass eye that doesn't look anything like a real eye. So I don't know. Whatever. Um, okay, let's talk about the dartboard. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. Yeah, it is weird that dartboards are a common feature in pubs. And it's like, here's an incredibly sharp object designed to be thrown at distances across a ro crowded room, and here's some alcohol which will Im inhibit your capacity to aim properly. Cool, let's get a, let's get a drink. Where can I get a drink? A drink? Yeah, like the thing in your hand. You wait for the cook to notice you. But that would take all day. It, what? What? Just find the mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. Why is the cook serving drinks? Look, uh, this whole Lechuk thing has me pretty shaken up, so, uh, if you don't mind... Haha, <laughs> I'm tired of talking to you, bugger off. Why does the... the cook have to get the drinks? That's not the per that's not the cook's job. Cook's job is to make the food. There are bar staff and waiters and all sorts who are supposed to actually get the alcohol to the patrons. Whatever. Now, I want to talk to... Let me talk to the... the, the I think girl. they're busy. I think they're busy. Fine, let's talk to... this girl. That is not a girl. Hi. Ask me about Loom. That's another game I've played. It's very nice. Hi. Hi yourself. Hello. Hi. 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 The other guy only had the one eye. Cobb. Is that your name? Nice hat. Hi. Oh, uh, it's just a joke that he only says anything if you want to talk about Loom, which is a good game. And if people like this game, my playthrough of this game, I'll probably play that one as well. So. Tell me about Loom. Aye. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. 
Stunning, high-resolution, 3D <laughs> landscapes, no, it sophisticated score, and musical Music effects. Music is an important part of the game. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects. Big data by this point. Elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. They do have an interesting <laughs> magic spell mechanic Beat in Loom. Rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Any of you want that one, buddy? I bought it already. Uh, no, Loom, very interesting game. Um... You have a sort of spell system, but instead of um, it being click the spell to make the thing happen, you have to memorise a series of musical notes. It's like you play it on a, a flute or something. Uh, and depending on the song you play affects the world outside. Very interesting. Uh, not to be long game. Have a recollection it was supposed to be the start of a series, and the rest of the series kind of never happened. So the ending is kind of weird and comes out of nowhere. Um, but no, good game actually, and I said I might play it again at some point. I might maybe record it on this channel because it's good. Oh yeah, sales Jeez, pitch. Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but on some topics I just get carried away. On everything else, he says I like this. Nice talking to you. Oi. Oi. There we go. That was the entire joke about that fellow. Let's go talk to I Patch. Talk, talk to I. Talk. To Talk to Eye Patch Man. All right, screw you two. Hey, a dog. Hello, doggy. Hello. His name is Spiffy. He's a good dog. Woof. 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 How is that dog able to howl with a mouthful of bone? Most of the stuff you can get away with, not the howling. The howling is where I draw the line. Also, you know, being able to say Monkey Island, LeChuck, Melee Island, and all the other bits and pieces. Most of that stuff was fine, but. Right, let's go get a drink. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Um, accidentally clicked out of the game. <laughs> um, bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Let's, uh, I better check everything's not completely buggered. Um, please hold. Okay, sorry about that. I uh, <laughs> I tried to click to the right of the screen so that the, the character would walk to the right and accidentally clicked out of the game in its entirety. Um, and yeah, but it, everything just decided to go to pot. Luckily, it didn't seem to have corrupted the actual recording. It's just decided to play Silly Bugger. So the question is, how do I... How do I get over there then? Okay, yeah. I've just got to be very careful. Okay. To give some sort of context as to why I have to be quite careful going to the right of the screen, I've got two screens. Uh, and it's not actually locked my mouse to this screen, so if I keep going off to the right, I actually appear on my other screen. So it's very possible for that I <laughs> can click out of the, uh, the screen and bugger myself sideways. Okay. So, do we talk to blue, green or black? Eeny, meeny. Hey, fat man. Hello. Hello. Fat, fat man gone. No, come back. Come back. Come back, fat man. I desire to talk to you. Guybrush is saying something. I don't see anything special about it. Okay. I wanted to talk to the fat man. Whatever. Let's talk to the important looking pirates. What be ye but, boy? I want to be a pirate. Oh, actually, any of these three. Okay, uh, let's see. Fireman, kill you all, pirate. I just love the idea of, of uh, someone as pathetic as Guybrush walking into a room and going, Hello, important pirates, I'm going to kill you all. Hello. I mean to kill you all. I'll get lost, boy, you bother us. <laughs> that is the correct response to, I'm going to kill you all. Are you? What be no. You want to boy? Wait, wants to be a fireman. I want to be a fireman. Don't read out the lines, Trish. I'll get lost, boy, you bother us. Why bother with these options? What be ye wanting, boy? 
I mean, if, if they gave a humorous response to each of them, that would be quite funny, but just the first two just being, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, that's the end of the joke. You, you could read the joke, no extra joke has come from it. That's not great. Okay, let's be King of the Pirates. I want to be a pirate. So what? Yeah, fair enough. Hey, brother us. Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this holy chuck thing. How convenient. So, so, no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Oh no, no alcohol, however hmm. will you possibly survive? Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. That'll be relevant later. Well, alright, but you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through... The three trials. The three trials. Uh, what three trials are those? They are the trials there three. Are three trials. Every pirate must pass. You must master the sword. Fair enough. And the art of thievery. Okay. And the quest. Well, what? That's not treasure hunting. You see, or two. okay. It's like, hello, here are three things that you need to go do. Well, I can tell you what those are. Areas. Sword play, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. I will be the hunteriest of treasures. I don't think we dogs yapping. And eh, then you fine. must drink grog with us. Grog! Okie dokie. Tell me more about mastering the sword. Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. Tell me more about treasure hunting. I'm bored of talking about mastering the sword. Tell me more about treasure hunting. Dog, shut up! Sorry, my, uh... One of my two dogs tends to start yapping at nothing because... He's a dog. That's what dogs do. They yap. Anyway. You're a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-smelling pigs. I'll be running along now. What's in that grog stuff anyway? Okay, so these are the things I need to be getting on with. These three are just filler. So let's, let's insult them. Why not? It's the best thing to do in a job interview, insult your boss. It shows that you have cojones. Which Guybrush clearly doesn't. There's a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swilling pigs. And they're going to say thank you. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling, grog-swilling pig. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, what's in the grog stuff? What's in that grog stuff anyway? Because it's all frothy. Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. <sighs> the stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. Then why does he serve it? I mean, let's be realistic. It's, of all of those things, pretty much rum is the only one that they're actually going to be care about. But as far as I'm aware, I should reiterate for those who aren't aware that I don't drink. But as far as I'm aware, rum doesn't have a frothy top, which implies it's some form of um, ale or beer, something of that ilk. Right. Okay. Let's actually get on with finding out what we're supposed to be doing. Tell me more about mastering the. Sword. How do I stab up blokes? First, get here, sword. Fair enough. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. So you're telling me every pirate on this island has defeated the sword master. Somebody to train you first. <laughs> if everybody Imagine could defeat the sword master. To take on a sword master without any training. <laughs> if everyone can defeat the sword master, they're not much use to the sword master, are they? They're not really a master, they're sort of the sword examination board. Uh, congratulations, you have shown that you are basically capable about weaving uh, wielding a sharpened piece of metal. Eh. Go to sea and get eaten by a kraken. Right, how does I steal stuff? We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands in the governor's mansion. The Why? governor keeps the idol of many hands in the display case in the mansion outside the town. 
You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. Fair enough. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. I like dogs. Dogs are fun. They're a particularly vicious boy. They might be able to drug him or something. Oh. Okay, that's what's honking outside and setting the dog off as well. Jesus Christ, it's all sorts of noisy today. Right. So, find up a bloke and stab something. Steal a thing that is just a MacGuffin, as far as I can tell. Okay, so let's talk about the treasure hunting. Tell me more about treasure hunting. How does I hunt the treasures? Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. Again, seems like something that something? not every pirate on this in the world could possibly have done. I expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot. <laughs> Shut up! Dog's going nuts in the background again. Okay, right. I'll just be running Off on me, Mary. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. But it's not that they haven't, you know, given me a particularly dangerous challenge. Just like, I mean, presumably the Swordmaster isn't that good, so that's not too dangerous. Um, finding the, the treasure with the map, presumably not too dangerous. It's just, uh, you know, nicking stuff from the governess. That might be a tad dangerous. Hey, you can't come back here. But how am I supposed to get some alky holes? I'm gonna wait till he randomly comes out again, I guess. Hey, let's look at the fireplace. Cozy. Ah, he's in. Hey, don't go into the kitchen. Well, uh, don't leave the kitchen. This is a terrible place. Let's. I'm going somewhere else. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Okay. Meanwhile. Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. That seems like it might be an unpleasant place to park a boat, but okay. Okay, quite like the effect he's got going on there. Captain LeChuck, sir. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir. What well, does that map in the background? I, is? It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, if you say so. Yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> Can I play the game? You please. Are glad to be dead, right? Oh, if I yes, say sir. yes, can we play the game now? I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship and murdered me and everyone on board. Oh, congratulations, my friend. <laughs> yes, yes. You're now an immortal skeleton lucky. thing. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. How can you possibly know problem? about that? What possible problem could there be? If you're parked in the arse end of nowhere, sissy pirates so how are you afraid there's an issue? Of the sea, are you, they're afraid to take are you a aware there's an issue? I don't know if I said the sentence well, right. There seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a How is that a problem? How can Guybrush have done anything to make it conceivable that he's a problem? And how can you know about that? Why, why are you bothering us with it? <laughs> I'd rather take it care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. But why, though? My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. But why, though? He's done literally nothing. He walked into a bar, said, I want to be a pirate, and left. That's... How is this... <laughs> How is that noteworthy? I can understand if he you know, was doing stuff. But, uh... No, that's just... That was just... That, that was a little um contrived. Let's look at this. I see how the chuck could fall for her so quickly. Can I take the poster? Pick up poster. I can't pick that up. Sure you can. Just just rip it off the wall. Pull the poster. I can't move it. You won't even try. I don't know why I thought I wanted the poster anyway. 
let's let's go somewhere else. So let's talk to this fellow. Who the hell are you anyway? Uh, what's green and hairy has a thousand legs? What's green and hairy and has a thousand legs? Yikes! Oh, you almost scared me to death! I thought you were a... Oh, never mind. Hey, what did you say your name was again? Call me Squinky! Call me Squinky. Okay, Squinky. Okay, who is this fellow? Who are you? Right I'm the lookout of Melee Island. I watch and the, the joke is he can't see shots. ...and ships and report them directly to the governor. She doesn't like unexpected visitors. I like your beard. Especially not now. How did you get the lookouts? Okay, yeah. How did you get to be the lookout Let's when you're Let's point out the joke. The That'll make it funny. Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Sheriff Shite. Who the hell's that? Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? Actually, it's the expected visitors we're worried about. One pirate captain in particular. A dead one, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna I'll leave. just be off to seek my fortune now. Good luck! Okay, let's 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 go. Let's go somewhere else. Hey, and here we are at the map screen. So let's see. We've got the clearing, something that <laughs> I can't go to. Some lights, house, Oiland. Okay, so here's where I am. That's where I've been. Um, let's just go to the clearing. Why not? <laughs> I've got no other direction at this point, aside from go to all of the places and look at all of the things. Oh, hey, yeah, carriage. Go over there. It's a circus! Come on, let's let's go. I want, I want to find a clown. Punch him in the nose. I get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can't do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Kind of drawing this out a bit, guys. Weasel. There we go, okay. Weevil. Miscreant. Tony. Nerdwell. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny. Scuffler. I should get their attention. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. How would you like the chance? A once in a lifetime chance. Are you going to let me fire out the cannon? An amazing feat. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. So yes, feat. let me do the thing. Uh, dangerous feat. No. Shoot me out the damn cannon. Make an interesting an thing happen. Exciting. With the amazing, adventurous, acrobatic, yeah. and exceedingly well known, fabulous, flying, Stop talking. energy brothers. Yeah, cool, says, whatever. Let me Alfredo, make a visually interesting thing happen. Feel. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? Yes, let me let me in the cannon. All you have to do is a get in the cannon and we'll shoot you out of it. Done. Across the room. Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? Yes. Okay, I'll do it. We'll pay you 478 pieces of eight. Have you got a helmet? He's got that stupid hairdo. Uh, no, I don't have a helmet. Will I need one? No helmet? Oh, you've got to have a helmet. Can't do the cannon trick without a helmet. God damn it. No, sorry. Go get a helmet and then we can do the trick. Have you got a bucket or something I can stick on my head? Just let me back in. I think there's something going on in there. Yeah. Weasel. Weevil. Miscreant. Tony. Ne'er do well. Does this place? Hello again. Okay, so that just all happens. Ready to do the cannon trick? Have you got a helmet? If I say yes, make a visually uh, 
course. Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure that it's a safe. Then I, I, it, I totally have a helmet. No, sorry. Um, and I can't do anything. All right, let's just leave them. You guys just stay there. Makes me wonder how they were possibly planning on doing the cannon trick at all if they were arguing between themselves as to who was going to fire out the cannon and neither of them had a helmet. And the first person who comes along willing to do the trick without a helmet, they just go, no, 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 you need a helmet. Right, let's go look at the pretty, pretty lights. He's a goblin. Oh, a troll. That's less interesting. You must pay a toll. Um, okay. Stand aside, for I am the mightiest of mighty men. Stand aside, <laughs> troll. Stop. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> You're no pirate. Well, a town drunk could out insult you on his back. And probably would. And probably has. I can out insult anybody, you brainless clay doppelganger. That's. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Take that and stick it in your repertoire. Oh, I think I will. You can't pass okay. until you pay the toll. And what is the toll? How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? Nothing. I don't have any items at this point. Nothing of consequence. I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. Okay. So a bunch of things that I don't have and couldn't conceivably have. My old moss-covered three-handled family credenza? Don't be silly. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. That sounds fun. Let's do that. None shall pass. Okay, back we go. Oh, so I can't go to the pretty, pretty lights or the house because of this bridge that I didn't know was there. Okay. So I guess we go to the island. <laughs> and when we inevitably find something we can't do there, we go back to the starting village. You know, at least let's have a look around and try and get our, uh, our bearings on stuff. Stuff and things. Jesus, he takes forever to walk anywhere. Hook Island, restroom, souvenirs! How do I... Let's... How do I get there? Up we go! Now... Hmm... I think it could support my weight. Okay. Do... Do the thing. I want to use a verb. Um, use... Cable. With... Um... I, I don't seem to have an option to use cable with dumbass. Okay, let's do a little bit. Um, pull cable. I can't move it. Well, bugger everything. It's just like the one on the other side. I okay, let's look at the sign then. Gaudy, but in a cheerful sort of way. Right, guess I can't do anything here without an item. Back to the starting village. What a colossal waste of everyone's time. Oh, hang on. There's a dirty rotten pirate there. <laughs> okay, that just happened. I saw him move walking and uh, didn't twig that. Well, I'll, I'll try and explain this again. I saw the dirty rotten pirate moving in a red shirt and for a moment was like, ah, I don't remember us having a red shirt before. Before noticing that actually that wasn't guy brush I was looking at. It was a dirty rotten pirate. Okay, so I guess we've got to go back in the bar. Back in the bar. Then I have to wait for... Was it the only thing I can think of to do at this point? Is come over here. Wait for Tubby McLardas to come out, wander off screen, at which point I can go in and steal all his stuff.
This is gameplay! Okay, maybe if I come over here I can do something to trigger his existence. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can... Oh! Not sure. Yes, there he is. Oh, God damn it! I did it again. Okay, yeah, he's back. Let's, uh, I must accidentally click out of the game again for a moment there, but here we go. Right, uh, let's... What is this thing? Okay, I can't look at that. It's some sort of meat, or meat-like substance. Well, pick it up, take it. Steal the money. Yep, steal that. Let's uh, steal this. It's boiling hot. Cool, open this. I want this. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Well, kick it. Push. Bird. Talk to. Bird. Pull. Bird. Ah. Oh. It's some sort of meat or meat like substance. Right. Hit the. Use. Meat with. Fish. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. Look at the barrel then. Look at the barrel. I think it's full of that foul stuff pirates drink. Can I use it? I think it's full of that foul stuff use pirates drink. Use barrel with meat. That doesn't seem to work. Is it not? All right. Well, let's. Okay, we've got some meat. Let's just ram the meat in the stew. That seems like a logical thing to do. Why I'd want to do that, I've no idea. Okay. Mmm, stewed meat. Mmm, stewed meat. Can I... Ow! Got it! Okay, so I have... Some... It's some sort of meat, or meat-like substance. Okay, I have cooked meat now. <laughs> Why can't I pick up this fish? Just kick the bird, dude. It's not that hard. Alright. Oh, pot. Uh, pick up. Pot. Cool. Use... Pot with stew. I don't want to put that in. Why not? Let's, okay, we'll use the pot with the barrel. I don't want that much. Well, you don't have to fill it, mate. Let's use the pot on the fish. That doesn't seem to work. I don't know why I thought it might. Okay, so... Um... Hmm. Okay, I've just sort of <laughs> shut the door now. That didn't do what I thought it would. Seems to be the only place I can go so far. Let's just push the pot of stew over. It's boiling hot. Um, let's use the stewed meat with... The barrel. That doesn't seem to work. Uh, again, I'm running out of ideas. Huh. Doesn't seem to be much I could do so far. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Well, just push it! I think that bird will Fine. peck my hand off. Okay, let's... I'm not getting very far, am I? This is probably for the best. Oh, I wonder if I could give the give the dog some meat. Use meat with puppy. That doesn't seem to work. Why wouldn't that work? Dogs love. Oh well. Oh, I didn't go this way before. Oh, there's more to do over here. It explains a lot. To see a man about a bird. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. <laughs> okay. Let's talk business. All right. Ooh, maps. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? I do. Only one in existence. Just one and all the others. Rare. 
very rare. What do you have costs? 400. Oh, 100 okay, 100 pieces of eight. Uh, no thanks. I don't have enough money. Well then, buzz off, kid. It's bad for business. Okay, I have a thought. I'm thinking... I go back to uh, Circus Dumbasses. They say, show us your helmet. I ram a pot on my head. They shoot me out of a cannon. No, I don't want to go in here. Go over here. I ram a pot on my head. They fire me out of a cannon. This is comedic in some unspecified way. They give me a bunch of money. I can go there and buy a map. How does that sound for a slice of fried gold? Now let's watch as it catastrophically fails to happen somehow. Wow, this is a... Uh... Right, where's that circus gone? Circus! Oh yeah, look, there's a, a dirty rotten pirate fellow. Can we talk to him? Oh, dirty rotten pirate! Oh, he, he went away. I was hoping I could talk to him. I do recall that being an important mechanic later. Um, meeting pirates in the... Uh, just uh, on the, the roads. But uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. Weasel! Weasel! Miscreant! Don't borrow a trampoline, buddies. Hello, a trampoline. Hello again. Ready to do the cannon trick? Yes. Have you got a helmet? Yes. Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure. That it's a safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No sorry. Stop talking and let me do the thing. Cool. Someone cooked a head cheese in this. Oh, is that the joke? Head cheese. Right, use. Pot with one of these idiots. How do I... Someone cooked a head cheese in this. Someone cooked okay, a head how cheese we... in this. Give. There we are. Give. Pot to idiots. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Cool. Make a visually Stop interesting right thing happen, inside. like I asked for earlier. Now put on your helmet and get in the cannon. Why are you doing this and trick we'll with the rest. no audience? Echo. Echo. Idiot! Ha ah! ha! <laughs> he hit the post. It works. Dumbass. Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? Where's my helmet? I'm Bobbin, are you my mother? I'm Bobbin, are you my mother? He's alright! He's not dead! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit! Cool, give me my money! Here is your money, sir! Thank you, Gary! Just the recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. Just need to work on the landing. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me. No, me. Slacker. Can I do it again? Loser. I want to see Grover of Streetwood slam into a wall again. It amuses me. Anyway, I think we will end it on that visually appealing activity. I, have, I don't know why I've got fixated on the <laughs> words visually interesting. Uh, yes, uh, that'll do as a starter. Besides, I seem to have bugged up the recording a couple of times, so it's going to be interesting editing this together. But uh, if this seems to be going down, well, we will do more stuff. And again, I'll try Loom again at some point, because Loom is a good game as well. And I have a feeling I might remember a little bit better what to do in that. Don't quote me on that, because I suspect I'm going to get it horribly wrong if I ever play that again. Okay, go away now. Bye-bye. <laughs>